Hi hey guys, did a little shopping. Um, figured this would serve as a beginning stages of this truck and trailer I picked up. Uh, two separate sales, uh, sold one of the trucks yesterday and bought a truck and a trailer uh, separately. Uh, picked up the Chevy that uh, I'm extremely excited about. It's an 06, uh, it's a, the 1500. Um, C71 with the L33 all aluminum 5.3, uh, which is supposedly a pretty good motor. It's uh, 310 horsepower or something like that, which would be fine to pull this and, uh, you know, doing estimates and light duty work. It's actually probably almost too clean to, to work with. Um, you know, I've also got the, the one ton, which I use often for heavier duty stuff. But uh, I figured this would serve as kind of a, a beginning. Um, before I do lettering and set up the enclosed trailer. Been looking at a lot of uh, videos online of enclosed trailer setups. This is probably, I wanna say my sixth or seventh enclosed trailer. I've kind of gone back and forth quite a bit um, between um, 12 footers up to, I think 18 footer was the biggest I had. This one is a um, very used, uh, it was a really good deal. Um, it's a uh, Hallmark, I think, or what is it Homestead or Hallmark? Hercules, I'm not sure what brand it is. But uh, needs a little bit of work. Um, yeah, Homesteader, I guess, is the brand. And um, <clears throat> so the truck, let's start with that. Um, like I said, it's uh, really, really clean. Um, it was a one owner, so actually two owner. The, the, the guy that I bought it from was the second owner. He only had it for about a year, but obviously he took well good care of it too. It's got newer style 18 inch alloys on it, uh, which you know, really dress it up nice. The truck's not perfect, but it is very, very clean for the age. Um, you know, it's loaded with all the options. I've always liked these 06s when they went to 07 and up, um, they went bankrupt. I wasn't too, too much of a fan of what they brought out the newer ones i think it's 2013 and up are, are nice again uh but this is all cash purchase stuff this is nothing that uh is going to be financed everything i have i own outright so i'll show you inside um interior is in really good shape it's kind of got the center console um it's got an aftermarket stereo it had the originally had the bose uh set up which it still has the speakers and whatnot in it and it's got i'm sure some type of adapter to make that work I've got a full touchscreen Android stereo unit, six inch screen that I really like that fits right in there uh, nicely. I'm gonna be putting that in as well as uh, I have an amplifier and there's a subwoofer I'll show you in the back right now. Um, with the second door <clears throat> or four doors. This is the uh, amplifier, it's, I mean, the uh, subwoofer. It's designed to fit in these trucks. Ah, more trees. I found, I don't know, probably eight or nine of these air freshener trees all around. I don't know if they're trying to cover up a smell or what it was, but kind of getting rid of those, it's a little much. Yeah, this is the uh, amplifier box just for a little uh, extra bass. <clears throat> of course, it's the grass and stuff all over it, but I'll flip it over. You can see it's, uh, I think it's a 10 inch kicker. Um, it's designed to fit right under this, this seat really well. I had it in my last truck as well. You can see it's got the uh, the humps and the curves to go right around the factory floor and fits in nice. I'll probably be mounting the amplifier on the floor over there or maybe behind the seat, but that fits in there almost like it's not there. Sounds really good in a small truck, truck cab. Uh, open, the, open the hood, oh, there's some remnants of some more of those trees okay with air freshener happy and got a little rust coming out there on the lip of the hood but here's the engine seems to be in uh respectable condition i don't see any leaks uh, let me start it up runs really good Ticks on startup. 
that air conditioning, all the options, just like the tab conditioning work, and I see some new gaskets and whatnot in there. But uh, again, I'm very excited about this. This is uh, one of the year trucks that I've wanted for quite a while. The last new one that I bought was a 2500 HD in 2004. And uh, give it a couple revs. Definitely got a got a nice little rumble to it. All right, move on to the trailer here. This is I'm not sure if I said it yet. Seven by fourteen trailer, dual axle. It's got some rust. Got a little uh, got a few issues here and there, but nothing that can't be fixed up. This side's uh, in pretty good shape. Uh, fenders. I got a couple of new wheels and tires to put on this side. For some reason, these are really rusty, and this side over here seems to be in better shape I put some uh, PB blaster on all the lug nuts because I'll be changing those shortly but I've got two more wheels that are the same style as this with new tires on them that I'm gonna put on this side to get rid of some of the rust fix up this fender I'm not sure what's going on here it's kind of just disconnected from the bottom um, you can see along the bottom it's got a little bit of a little bit of rot coming through I guess must have been a salty area not too bad though i'm not re really worried about that it's a work trailer um, i do plan on lettering it up nice with the logo um, both of them i'm also contemplating painting the bottom of the truck so it's all white instead of this uh i think pewter they call it i guess it is gray it looked like it was tan at first so maybe i will keep it and just letter it up the way it is but uh thinking about making it all white let me know if you have any thoughts on that back here this back panel is pretty pretty bad um but it's just a piece of, you know, galvanized sheet metal or whatever it is. I can cover it up, uh, pull it out, remove it, you know, do whatever. It's not a big deal. This has these really nice locks that are kind of integrated key to like on all three. The side door. And uh, I've never seen this style before. But they're really nice. You just kind of push on here and lift up the handle. And the other cool thing about it is when you go to close it, you just kind of slam it down and it locks it right in. And like I said, they're all key to like. So you got the side door, I'll open the ramp. Right now it looks like it was a contractor that used it. And there's got some shelving and stuff in there. Not sure, most likely there's not anything that I'm gonna keep in it. Probably uh, remove it all and start fresh, but at least I've got some material to work with for some shelves. I might keep some of it in. And walk in the front here so yeah this is what it's got inside kind of shelving units and leftover building materials and uh, definitely good to have the plywood and the and the lumber to make more shelves or um, I'm probably gonna set this up similar to my last trailer I don't have that on the channel I wish I did I'm gonna start videoing all my stuff kind of just have pictures of it uh, maybe I'll insert some pictures into the video of what I do have, um, how that one was set up. But at some point soon, I'm definitely going to, uh, I'm starting on it today. I'm going to pull this stuff out and get it set up. I'm just going to basically have a couple of blowers, trimmers, um, some racks, spare parts, um, just the locker mower is all I, I have uh, for a mower that I need at this point. So it's just going to be the one mower in it, you know, tr put trimmer racks up and, you know, the usual stuff that you put in the enclosed trailer. And I'll probably have it set up as a little mobile wor workshop. As a bonus, it looks like I got a couple of small air compressors. I have no idea if they work. I'm going to give those a shot, but granted that they're given to me in the deal, I can't imagine they work or work too great, but I'll give them a shot. Maybe, maybe there'll be uh, something I can use. Snow shovel. But yeah, um, I got this at a really good deal. Another thing, the, the roof vent is cracked, so I need to replace that ASAP. Um, <clears throat> it's probably the rustiest enclosed trailer I've ever seen out of all the ones I've had. Most of the ones I had were new, um, but it's not too bad. It's got the LED, LED lights on it and uh, the rear ramp, which works fine. Again, it's seven by 14 in size. Uh, sufficient. Like I said the biggest one I had was an 18, which was kind of overkill. 16 was nice, little roomy. It was the eight foot wide, which gives you a little extra space next to the mower inside. But the seven, uh, the seven inside is is sufficient. It's a little tight, but it's pretty much all I need. Especially pulling it with a half ton pickup most of the time for mowing. I'm gonna 
use this truck for small jobs, maintenance, and uh, estimates and that type of stuff. And then the larger jobs will be uh, the one-ton Chevy uh, that's, that's also on the channel, the diesel four-wheel drive with the plow. I don't know if this will get a plow at some point or not. Probably. Um, we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, I just wanted to give a, a starting video of what we got to start with because usually you, everything else I have pictures of is usually after I'm done with it. I don't have any before stuff. So it's kind of hard to say, hey, I did this, I did that, and, you know, improve improvements and whatnot. So at least this way you can see what we started with. Um, probably throw some updates here and there throughout about this. Uh, all within the next couple of weeks, I need to get it lettered and ready to go. You know, the season's coming up quick here. I'm actually should be working today, uh, but I'm going to get some things organized. I got a trailer that I'm selling. I got to get that uh, ready to go. I got a couple people that want to come look at it, so I got to get all this stuff inside this trailer and out of my garage and just a bunch of moving around and whatnot so um but yeah pretty happy about this truck it's very clean for an 06 um it's uh pretty pretty rust free i've got a little bit of rust here and yeah the rockers are just starting the, the frame is uh in really good shape got some new shocks on there but now uh, you can see the the rockers are pretty good got a little bit of rust starting to come through and that's the worst of it. I like the new style, uh, the 06 with the hood. They had the 2500 HD style hood, the, the higher, almost like a hood scoop effect to it. But yeah, loving this truck. And uh, I'll give you a new update when I put a little bit more into it. I think it'll look nice all lettered up and whatnot. All right, have a good day.